the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. I heard a non-Muslim saying that you are slave to your religion. You are slave to Islam. So you're missing out on a lot of things. You're missing out on alcohol, on drinking beer. You're missing out on going to clubs, on girlfriends. You're missing out on many financial things like interest. You're missing out on eating pork. You're missing out on a lot of things. So take it easy and have fun. My message to this guy and to all who think the same, every one of us is following something. Every one of us like something. And if we like that thing, we might end up loving it. And if we love that thing or things, we're going to just follow it and obey it, basically. And we might end up worshipping it. So basically, you worship your desires. You follow your desires. You follow these things that you said. As for me and all Muslims, we follow God. We follow Allah, the one and only God, worthy of worship. So we don't follow our desires and we don't worship our needs. We worship God alone. So thank God that I'm missing out on these things. And by the way, when God forbids something, he knows that this thing is not good for me. That's why it is forbidden. Because he's the all-knowing. He knows what is good for me and what is bad for me. So if it is forbidden, it is for my own benefit. So thank God that I worship him and that allowed me to be a Muslim. And a Muslim is derived from the religion Islam. Whoever who follows Islam is a Muslim. And Islam means submission. To submit your will to the one and only God. This is Islam.